Hey peeps, here I am. I'm gonna make a chain knot project. So I'm going to be using some uh I don't even know what I want to use. I guess I'm gonna use some I use the white paint. I'm going to use this white paint that I have. And hopefully, I put the chain over here. And I didn't think about the paint getting on it. So I'm going to move it. Not gonna, I don't know how this is going to work out. We'll see. I'm kind of in an off mood. I'm trying to hopefully see if this will make me feel better. Because I'm not really in the best mood. So let's see. Hopefully that's enough paint. I don't want too much paint on it. You know what, let me put my apron on just because I don't want paint all over everything. I don't like the feeling of it when it gets in my on my shirts. Because it even though it's on you got clothing on, it still gets through and gets into your skin. So I don't like that. <clears throat> Alright, let me see what am I gonna use to spread the paint. <clears throat> For now, I'll use this. I'm not, I like to usually use this for my swiping tool, but it really helps cover the canvas. And I, I don't like when I see the, no offense to those who do it, but when the artists just do it with their hands and then they leave a bunch of lines in it and then they say, oh, it's going to self level. And then at the end of their video, you see that it did not self-level and that there are lines in it and everything else. So when you're doing the string pull, you don't want a ton of paint on your canvas because it does come off when you're pulling. Like, see all this stuff right here that I'm pulling down? When I do my string pull, that's stuff that would stay on there and take up room and take up paint. And then you got a puddle. And I don't want a puddle. And then I'm going to have to pop these air bubbles because I don't want those either. You want to get all the paint on the sides. As even as you can. I put wax paper down because I hate, even though I got a puppy pad, I just, I'm just starting out and I can't afford to buy all this stuff. I'm trying something new because I've had a change of season in my life and it was an unexpected change, but nonetheless a change that I need to kind of get used to, I guess. Not that I think I can, but I've been down this road before and hopefully... I'll never be down it again. But I survived the last one. I'll survive this. Only by the grace of God, though. God helped me out last time. He'll help me out again. I'm trying to go very gently because you can, if you go to hard okay 
So that's that. Let me wipe my spatula. Get some of these that excess paint off. I do want to put gloves on because I just I don't feel like getting paint all over my fingers and what I'm gonna do with the pole chain. It's just a very messy job. So let me get some gloves on. Yeah, I'm still recording. Last time I recorded one and I paused it and I guess I forgot to put it back on. Or I thought my finger touched it, but I didn't. And I'm sitting there and I'm talking and talking and explaining things. And then before I know it, my phone's not even on. And that is basically my life story right there in a nutshell. This is how things have been for the last few months for me. But I don't really want to sound like I'm complaining, but I'm just trying to explain that, you know, God has gotten me through a lot still. And I know I still got a long way to go. You put the heat on here like this so you pop the air bubbles. Because you don't want air bubbles in your paint. Some people use torches. Some people use um, the embroidery thing, which I had used before, but I tend to like this one better. All right. I'm a little worried that I might not have enough paint to keep going, but I did try it. I'm trying something new that I just saw on TV as far as um, the painting of it. So I'm going to try and turn it over here and show you what I'm doing. I have two strings and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the string and I'm going to add some paint in areas that I want certain colors. Oh, pardon. Part of the chain. Now I have a lot of colors So, I want to make sure I get them. No, I don't think I want, I think I'm going to do green. Is it, you know, you could put the colors anywhere you want on the thing. And then, I don't know, I'm hoping this will come out the way I think it should, but you never know. Nothing in my life came out the way I thought it would, so everything's been a surprise. Not all of them good surprises, but nonetheless, they are things that God has brought me through, and that's all I really need to know about that. Like, I, it takes you a while to think about whether or not He's there. And there's been a lot going on in my life. I'm 50 years old. I had a lot going on. And I never thought I would be where I am right now. And the uncertainty of where my life is headed is very scary. But I also have all the faith in God that he didn't bring me to this point for no reason and to just go through what I'm going through for nothing. I know he's got big plans for me and I trust him. It doesn't mean it hurts any less because it still hurts. It hurts a lot. But we'll see what his plan is. I only have a very little bit of this left, so I might not have enough to put it on both um, chains, because I'm going to do that chain too. I'm not sure if I just put my elbow in the paint there that I was using, the canvas, 
And I apologize if I don't know if you can hear my grandchildren screaming upstairs at whoever, each other, whatever. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I usually don't talk a lot when I'm working because I do like to concentrate on what I'm doing. So it's kind of... I forgive me if I have pauses in between where I'm not saying much because I don't I'm not really used to this stuff <laughs> um, I talk to God a lot, is what I do. I have a lot of conversations with God. And I need them. I definitely need those conversations. I really wish, though, I could hear what he's trying to say to me. I, I want to hear what he has to say. I think I found the end right there, which is what I need. Okay, now this one. Oh, I did not put any purple at all in that one, so this one's going to have to make up for it. I didn't put any purple, and I didn't put any green. Let me just move that. I don't know. Can you, you? Yeah, you can. You can see what I'm doing. This one here, I think I'm going to just do it a little differently than the other. Because I like being different. So I'm going to, what I'm just going to do with this is double up the paints. So I get some, oof. Okay, and I did not put any of this green in the last one, I don't think. Oh yeah, I did, but that's okay. I'm still putting it in here. <clears throat> I am, like I've said in other videos, very impatient. Like I don't like to wait for a lot of things. And so, um, that's why, like, I'm brushing this on, because I don't, oh, I just, I did it again. I did put my wrist or whatever in that paint. That's one thing that I don't like about myself when I'm, when I am painting is, I really don't think about my surroundings when I'm focusing on this. Like, I've never been good at multitasking. I, I just, I feel like I can't be the jack of all trades because you know what they say about jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, master of none, and... I'd rather be good at one thing, like really good at one thing, although I can't really say that because I really do like learning new things. I'm like, I like to be interested in learning new things. I get bored easily after doing the same thing over and over. Um... So, I do like to experiment, although it's crazy because I hate change, certain change, like the kind of change that I'm going through in my life right now, I, that's 
the kind of change I don't like. I don't want that kind of change. I do, however, like the change of um, learning new things. Um, I'll put this over here. If I can learn something new, great. But if change means losing something, I'm never good at that. Ever, ever. And God knows it, so I that was that's what makes me question sometimes why he lets certain things happen. But the timing of everything. And I know it's his timing, and we can't do anything about his timing. That's what he chooses. But, you know, we also have free will, and we choose what we're doing. And boy, I made a lot of mistakes that I wish I could take back and have a do-over about. But. Sometimes it's just too late. Although I never want to say never when it comes to God because he can turn graves into gardens. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for is that he'll turn this grave that I'm in right now. Oh, goodness. Into a garden. Oh, I didn't have a place. Oh, I did put that one in there, but I'm going to put that one in this now. Yeah, um, we got to work to get our heart's desire. And it still has to be according to God's will. That we work towards it. Okay, now I'm going to bring you back over here because I'm not going to be able to touch the phone once I start. So, right now I'm going to I think I'm going to just for because I'm nervous I'm going to add a little more paint to the edges. And in that one area, because it just looked thin to me. And I'm not going to really touch it because it will come off with the paint. Oh, goodness gracious, I knew I was going to do something wrong right from the get. Let's do this one. Because the other one is going to be all tangled. Oh, goodness. This one's going to get tangled on me, too. No. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hold on. I got to... Untangle. All right, here we go. I untangled it. I'm going to see if this works. Oh, my God, I'm trying. Hold on. Oh. I'm trying very hard not to let do that. That's exactly what I did not want to do. But it happened because this is way too long for what I can hold it. And I 
to the other one. However, I'm not sure. Oh crap, I see an air bubble and they gotta pull this. See, this is where patients come in that I really don't have. Because see all that extra paint that I'm trying to get off. And then I want it to only come in the middle. See, that peachy color didn't show up that great. Yeah, I'm trying to get that extra paint off the side. 